some breaking news in state politics tonight. A serious upset just minutes ago in the state legislature. Major news about the next Speaker of the House. Our chief political correspondent Kevin Landrigan live at the State House in Concord with the breaking details. Kevin. Kiki, incredible story here. 195 to 178. That's the scoreboard on one of the most startling, stunning upsets in New Hampshire State House history. I've only been doing this covering politics for 30 years. I've never seen anything like it. The day started, Bill O'Brien, the former House Speaker, looked to be on the road to redemption, was going to easily win uh, a recovery term and become the next Speaker of the House. Now the voters had put Republicans in charge. A weird thing happened to him on the way to that coronation. He came four votes shy of that majority he needed to become Speaker on the first ballot. This let 11-term State Representative Sean Jasper, of H a Hudson Republican, to step in the breach, offer himself as the alternative to O'Brien. He was able to get all the support of Democrats and win on the third ballot by that 195 to 178. He's now presiding over the House right now as both the House and Senate meet in joint convention to elect a Secretary of State and a State Treasurer. Startling development. We really don't want know what kind of deal Sean Jasper made with the Democrats in order to get all their votes, but a crestfallen Bill O'Brien who looked like he was on his way to grabbing the gavel only to have it snatched away from him. From the State House, this is Kevin Landrigan. Kiki, Paul? Quite a night there in state politics. Our Kevin Landrigan reporting. Thanks for that, Kevin. We appreciate it. Crop TV.